Hello from Shrix and hello from Smarter. Welcome to 49th Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about operator overloading in Ruby. Now, I will explain you the concept of this operator overloading through this sweet example. Now, to save time, I have initialized a class, class animal. It is having two instance variable, name and color, and it is having a constructor to initialize its values like name, color, at the rate name equal to name, and blah blah blah, like this. Now, here I have defined another class, zebra. Now, let us inherit class animal in zebra. Yeah, till now, no problem, guys. Many times I have discussed these things. Now, let us incorporate the concept of operator overloading in our example. Now, let us define a class df plus now within this we have to write the object name let's say other underscore object yeah now in this example we are overloading this plus operator this addition operator now let us initialize an object let's say a equal to zebra dot new then within the parenthesis we can send few data like shrieks fun yeah then b equal to zebra dot new let's say smart herd then let's say youtube channel yeah now now again I have initialized the object of zebra class so these parameters will look for the constructor in zebra class here we don't have any constructor so it will look for the constructor in the super class animal so our object a will have name equal to shrieks and color equal to fun then b will have name equal to smart herd then color equal to youtube channel let's say I think let's say trait let's change trait yeah better yeah trait yeah pretty awesome now what if if you want to merge shrieks smart herd and fun youtube channel like this for that we can add two strings now here our object a is actually user defined it is not a predefined integer or string it is actually a user defined object b is also a user defined object now a plus b adding two objects seems to be a wrong syntax but in operator overloading this concept of operator overloading allow us to add two user defined data types let us write put us dot a plus b sorry put us space a plus b now when we write put us space a plus b then this is going to call this method plus then within the parenthesis other object now this a is a self object and this other object becomes this b now writing a plus b is also equivalent to let's say bracket b yeah so we are sending this b value to this other object and you can access a by using the self method like this let's say return let's create another object animal dot new yeah now let's say interpolation yeah self dot name then again interpolation sorry other object dot name right let's give a comma then again interpolation self dot trait then again interpolation what other underscore object dot trait right 
Now let me save it and execute it. Let me show you what's going on here. Oops guys, I got an error. Let's see where is the error. In line number 15, undefined method trait. Okay, let's check it out. Line number 15. Yeah, everything seems to be fine. Oops, the spelling of trade in line number 4 I have written wrong. Yeah, let's change it to trade. Yeah, and one more thing guys. Put as A plus B, I have to inspect the new object which is being returned. Let's say dot inspect. Yeah, now let's save it and execute it. Yeah, here we go. We get an another object of animal whose name is Shrek Smartheart, both are linked. This Shrek and this Smartheart are linked, then trade fun YouTube channel. Now, our objective is not to create this object of this class animal. Our objective is to learn the operator overloading. Now, this when we write object plus object, so it is actually an invalid, but operator overloading allow us to add two user defined data types like objects now when we write a plus b then this function is invoked now this plus is this plus and when we write this plus so this method is executed and this is an object variable and b object b is equivalent to this other object and we can access this object a by using this self so self dot name is shrieks other object dot name is smarter then second parameter if you notice guys animal dot new we are creating another object we are returning an another object of this class animal so suppose this object is c so put as c dot inspect so finally we are getting the output like this there are lots of operators guys like plus, minus, division, modular division like this which we can overload double equal to then comparable operators. Various types of operators are there guys in which many we will discuss in further tutorials. So catch you guys in next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe. This is Shrix from Smartheart signing off.